going on guys lockout men right here back again with another podcast for you guys Woo, man oh man this this gentleman right here that we about to talk about today he had a he had a bad day well i guess his day was going good until he ran into the neighborhood uh watch dog i guess the neighborhood watch dog you know what i'm saying and you got a lot of neighborhood watch dogs like this like this guy now everything pretty much ended nice calm cool collected but believe me when i tell you there was some tense moments throughout the throughout the confrontation throughout the confrontation let's get into this uh Let's get into this podcast for today. What's going on, guys? My name is Lockout Men, and I am here chilling without my background, but I got my Dragon Ball Z background for you guys. If you guys like content like this and more, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, share, and hit that bell for the, before you leave. You know what I'm saying? Yo, stay tuned for more content like this. And in order to get more content like this, you got to subscribe. You got to hit that bell. You got to hit that all button. You know what I'm saying? Make sure you hit that all button so that you can get good content like this. That's that's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. What's going on, guys? Fresh haircut today. Hats in the background. You know what I'm saying? Hat fanatic. You know, I'm not rocking I'm not rocking the joint today because, you know, I got that fresh ass haircut and I want to show it off. You know what I'm saying? But it's not about me. It's not about me. It's about, uh, mm-hmm. it's not about me, y'all. You want to know what it's about? It's about this gentleman right here. This young man right here, this truck driver, J.B. Hunt truck driver. He's, his name is Travis. I can't recall his last name, but I came across, uh, I, I I came across his information because you know surfing the web, you know truck driver, truck driver news and all like that. And I came across this particular incident uh, in a news article where it says black, mind you, black truck driver or black. It didn't say truck driver. It says black delivery driver held uh held hostage in a community something like that so i was like man okay so i dig a little bit deeper i go i go a little bit deeper into the into the article and it says that a, you know that an older gentleman white guy you know he was accosted by a white guy and it kind of brought me back to situations with white people that that are costing black people you know what i'm saying somebody help me out here help somebody help me out somebody help me out to understand all this all this stuff that's going on man somebody help me out to understand hold on right quick now see there's there's an issue of 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 a new thing doing things while black you know what I'm saying? That is that is is that a new thing? Is that is that a new thing? You know, I I see a lot of issue. I see a lot of a lot of white people calling the police on black people for just about petty issues. There's there there was barbecue Betty where the young lady was calling the police because there was a group of black people just minding their own business in a you know at a park cooking. There was this other gentleman that that uh that called the police on some black kids that was playing in a that was playing in a pool. There was a there was another white lady that called the police on a on a black child that was only selling like uh, selling Kool Aid you know, bottled water, you know what I'm saying? And then, you know, let me, let me see if I can find, you know, there's, there's a lot of, there's a lot of instances on, 
on uh, race relations, you know, whites versus blacks all over the Internet. You know, there was this there was this one time that this couple was in a park and I believe a white lady pulled a gun out on them. You know what I'm saying? And then you got the more serious situations that's going on right now with the uh, with the white cops that that shot uh, Brianna, uh, Brianna Taylor, you know, for the for the botch uh, for, you know, for the um, for the botch. I wanted what was it? The botch. um you you guys know what I'm trying to say. Uh it's the botch. Uh they they went to the wrong place. All right. They went to the wrong place. They got, you know, the boyfriend shot at him, you know, not thinking that, you know, not thinking that there was police. The police weren't turn returned fire. All eight shots went into the young lady, killed her. You know what I'm saying? And then the situation with um uh, Ahmad Aubrey and the uh, and the two white and and the two white uh, father and son situation, as well as past situations. Everybody know about the everybody know about the George Zim, Zimmerman situation uh, with the young man. Um, so yeah, situations situations like that. You know, you tend to think like, is it going to ever end? Is it, is it ever going to end? Really? You know what I'm saying? Is it going to ever end? I mean, right now we're in a pandemic right now. And, you know, that just, that's making it worse. But is it going to ever end? So let's jump into, uh, let's, let's jump into, uh, let's jump back to this gentleman right here. Now, I went and I found the video uh, on his website. I also reached out to him. He also reached back to me. So, you know, I will be getting, you know, be getting the interview together with him very shortly. But let's see what's going on in this black and white confrontation situation. I'm trying to leave. And I got super neighborhood the super neighbor over here blocking me in so i'm going live this is what i'm dealing with right oh, now this is what i'm dealing with now in the article it says delivery driver but this he's is a who I'm Hunt with. truck driver napoleon move out the way my name's david stewart i don't my name's david stewart i don't my name's I don't care what your name is. Get out the way. I don't care. Move out the way, sir. You picked the wrong day. Move out the way. Please hurry up so you can have this a hole. Move out the way so I can leave. I asked you one question. I, no, it's none of your business. And I asked It is not. No, no, it is my business. Mm-hmm. Why? You the mayor of the, of the yeah. cul-de-sac? I'm president of the owner's association. Okay. These are private streets. And apparently you need a gate code to get in here, right? That's correct. So how did I get in here? I don't want to know where you're going. It was none of your business. I'm going out. That's where I'm going, but you're in my I'm way. I'm not arguing with you anymore. Now so I'm then move out the way then. All you have to do is get, tell me where you're going. I don't have to tell you shit, and you're pissing oh, me off. Yeah, yeah. No, I don't. Okay, see right there? Bam, right there. No, it's none of your business, old man. It's none of your business. Your business, you know, I can understand some people. I, I can understand some people that's trying to protect their neighborhoods. They get kind of curious of of suspicious trucks, suspicious vehicles. I get that part, okay? But if the young man is trying to leave, he's going out, then what is what is it any business of yours? What is it any business of yours of what he's doing there? 
obviously he came there to deliver something. He had a gate key from another homeowner that stayed in the that stayed in the cul-de-sac and they gave him the gate key to come in. They came in, did the business. Now they're on their way out, and this man is blocking him, which in turns unlawfully detaining him for no reason at all. Just because he wants to be nosy. Like, you know, I I, I want to know where you went, where you came from, and why you in here. It's none of your business. You know, you're not a security guard. I can understand if you was a security guard, then maybe I, you know, I maybe I can do a, have a better exchange with a security guard, a person of authority. But this man ain't nothing but the president of the homeowners association. So, like if if I'm staying in that cul-de-sac, and I get a delivery or I get it or I have somebody to come in there to visit me or something like that. I got to call. I, I got to call you, bro. Bro, I, I, I got to call you. I got to call you to tell you that, hey, I got a delivery coming or I got somebody that's coming to see me. I got to call you, bro. Bro, really? Really, bro? I got to call you and let you know what what I'm doing. Nah, we don't do that. We don't do that. Oh, okay. Yeah, sorry about that. We don't do that. We don't do that, bro. Bro ham, we don't do that. We don't tell you, you know, you, there's no badge. There's no patches of authority. I don't even know if you is the president of the homeowners association. You're just a nosy ass neighbor that's that wants to know what's going on. You know what I'm saying? Let's let's roll down to the 831 mark where he comes back to the truck being all nosy again. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Oh, wait, 831 mark is where a buddy, his buddy comes into play. All right. So this is some Joe Schmo that's coming down, to, that's, that's coming down the way. Another, another nosy neighbor, this guy right here, another nosy neighbor coming in, coming into play. Unless you change clothes. Yeah, because he was in something else, right? So, here he comes. Hey, man. Hey, man. What's going on? What's going on? I'm trying to leave. Why? What do you mean, why? Why were we in here for? Hey, man. What's going on, man? How you doing, man? What I. How you feel, man? What's going on? So the gentleman tell him like, yo, bro, I'm trying to leave. I'm trying to get up out of here. I'm trying to trying to get back and, and finish out my day. And this guy, why? Let, let me hear that again. I, I gotta make sure I heard that white. I gotta hurt I gotta make sure I heard that right. I'm trying to leave. What do you mean, why? <laughs> why? 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 Why are you trying to leave? Because I'm trying to get. I'm trying to finish up the rest of my day. Really? I mean, you want to know why I am trying to leave? I'm. I'm done. I made my delivery. It is time to go. That's why. My question to you is: Why is it any of your business? None your business? Yeah, it is. No, it ain't. Uh, did I deliver it to your house? You didn't deliver anything that I know of. It's it's okay, it's none of your business. It's none of your business. Whether you live in the in the cul-de-sac or not, it's none of your business 
to know what somebody else is doing. What am I? I'm the homeowner. Am I supposed to call you and your buddy to let you guys know what's going on in my house? Really? It's it's your business because you live there. It's your business because you live there, right? Come on now. It's none of your business. That's why. You're asking questions. You don't need to ask questions. All you need to do is have your buddy move his car so I can leave and go about my business. So did you make a wrong turn into the neighborhood? How do I make a wrong turn into a gated neighborhood? I need to have a gate code in order to get in, right? That's common sense, right? So if I had a gate, if I'm in here, I had a gate code, right? How did you get a gate code? That's none of your business. Yet again. It sure no, it isn't your business. I mean, I mean, this the gentleman that's that's held. I mean, the gentleman that's held up is 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 cool, calm, and collected. I salute you, my brother, because if that was anybody else in this situation, this tense situation. It probably might have went ugly. There's a lot of comments in his uh in his comment section that says that they would have played the scene out differently. Yo, I would have ran over the car. I would have pushed the car out the way with my truck. Uh, I would have smacked them. Somebody would have got their ass kicked. Yada yada yada. But this man in the truck took. He was peaceful, calm collective i mean he did say a few choice words but he was still calm collective and spoke to to the gentleman you know to see if he can get them or get the one guy to move but this guy this guy right here it is it sure as hell is my business no it's not bro it is not your business stop Putting your nose in situations that don't belong to you. I'm just saying. What the hell is it? I'm not in the wrong. How how is he in the wrong? Wait 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 wait. Come back, come back. Say it again. That's none of your business. Yet again. It's how you gonna ask? How did you get a gay code? It's none of your business. I got a gay code. Obviously, somebody gave me a gay code. I'm in a I'm I'm in a a truck, obviously delivering to somebody that lives in the cul de sac. Sure as hell is it. You're in the wrong, dude. I'm not in the wrong. How is he in the wrong? Somebody let me know in the comments below how this man is in the wrong. They are in the wrong. They unlawfully detaining this dude. And for what? I don't know who this is. Uh, what's your name? No, this is our street. This is private street. Uh-huh. Uh, just so you know, more than you two guys live on this street, too. And you're not the only ones with, gated, with goat codes. You're warning us what? I'm not warning nobody. That's what you said. I did not. No, he didn't. He said... Uh, just so you know, more than you two guys live on this street, too. There's more than you two guys that live on this street. This idiot right here turns around and say, what? And you're not the only ones with, gated, with goat codes. You're warning us what? I'm not warning nobody. That's what you said. I, no, he didn't. He didn't say that. He didn't say that. Can you guys imagine what would the scene would actually be like back in the day? I mean, come on, guys. It's 2020. It's the new millennial, man. Come on. Enough is enough. Enough is enough for this shit. You know what I'm saying? There is plenty of professional black people out here. And then there's just dumbass people right there. Okay? Enough is enough. I'm just saying, enough is enough. I did not. Yes, you did. No, I did not. 
And that's the reason why I'm recording too. So just in case. Well, I don't understand English. Uh, apparently you don't. I'm in the wrong, show me your badge then. No, they're coming. Uh-huh. Now mind you, this whole video in tunes is like 30 minutes. And throughout this whole 30 minute exchange, the cops really didn't show up. The cops didn't show up. They called the cops, but the cops didn't show up. Now, I guarantee you, if if he drove his truck and and put some damages on that car or on any of the lawns that's in, that was in the area right there let me show you let me show you if he would have drove his truck if he would have drove his truck on the lawn like if he would have went around and did damages on the lawn right there or did damages to this truck right here then I guarantee you the cops would have been there like lickety fucking split. If anything would have happened to him physically, I guarantee the cops would have been there lickety split. But they haven't. They haven't came. But that's none of their business. Hey, all we want to know is why you're in here and who gave you the gay code. Why? That's all we need to know. No, you don't. Show me your badge. I don't have a badge. So then you don't have a reason to ask me any questions. Okay. Right. Now, mind you, the, now, mind you, Travis is on point. He's on point. I got, man, salute to this brother, man. He's on point. This man, men, men don't have no badges, no uniforms, no authority to even ask any of the freaking questions that they're asking. All we want to know is, who gave you the gate code and why you're in here? None of your business, bro. Obviously, somebody gave me the gate code for a delivery. Think about that. It's that simple. Just have your buddy move the car so I can leave. <sighs> and then there he goes walking off into the sunset uh, or he's coming back walking off into the sunset so what do you guys think man tell me tell me what you guys think of this situation for real for real tell me what you guys think of this situation for real like i mean what do you guys think man Honestly, honestly, what do you guys think of this situation? Now, I'm I'm cool with just about everybody, black, white, Hispanic, yellow, Asian, orange. I'm cool with everybody. I, I taught that to my son. My son has a vast array of friends across all races. Just like me, I'm cool with everybody, but I do have a particular problem with people like this or like the situation that happened to me at mcdonald's when i went up to mcdonald's to get something to eat up in uh up in kentucky i went into the drive-thru you know what i'm saying it's not the drive-thru it's actually the walk-in they they blocked that little door right there they made that like a walk-up window or some shit like that i'm putting in my order got my mask on and shit you know what i'm saying putting in my order yada 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 it's supposed to be like maybe like two people that's in the vestibule at a time, you know, because of social distancing, social distancing. I like that word. But anyway, I'm in there ordering, got finished. And before I can get finished, here come this little guy. Comes up, comes around me and gets like literally like maybe a foot in front of me. And over here trying to get the girl's attention. And I'm looking at the guy like, excuse me, excuse me. Uh, I, I just need to I, I just need to talk to the girl. Well, yeah, okay, I get that. I understand. Wait your turn. Wait your turn. So I step back, social distancing, and he goes to the chick like, uh, I, I don't think everything is in my bag. And the lady's like, 
Well, what are you missing? I'm not sure. You supposed to know what's in my bag. No, she don't. I mean, unless you got the receipt, which obviously you don't have, bro. So I'm looking at him. I'm like, yo, cuz, you know, how's she going to know what's in your bag? This dude going to turn around and tell me, well, mind your fucking business. I was like, all right, cool, cool. You know, none of my business. You're right. You're right. I'm like, hey, none of my business. I'm just saying. You know what I'm saying? But my thing is this. You coming up in my space, you know what I'm saying, being rude, trying to interrupt me and her conversation, you know, for her to take my order. That's that's mainly the reason why I, why I ch- chimed in. Other than that, you're right. I don't have nothing to say. It ain't none of my business why, you know, why you don't know what the fuck is in your damn bag, bro. <laughs> but I'm just saying, people, people, man, come on. Come on, 2020 now. Pandemic. You know what I'm saying? New normals for everybody. New normals. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, let's see. Uh, so at the 16 mark, the first guy comes back. Come to Poland. Well. You do realize this is all private property. Right. You do realize this is unlawful detainment, right? You, you have absolutely no reason and no right to hold me here to block me in with your all car. I need to know is fine. You don't need to know anything. Yes, I do. This is private. Okay, that's fine. The private property that you own is probably somewhere up there. And, you know, I understand private property. Yeah, this is private property, but it's not your property. Your property is where your domicile is at. You know, the driveway, that sidewalk, the house, backyard, the acres. But this private property is is private is private property because it's in a cul-de-sac. You see what I'm saying? But it's more than one person that lives there, right? Am I supposed if I'm if I'm one of the homeowners that's there, I'm supposed to call you up and say, "Hey, I got a I got a delivery coming to my house. Uh is it okay? Is it okay? I'm just saying, is it okay? No. No, it's none of your business. It's none of your business. It's none. I I just want to know who who gave you the key and why you're here, right? Right. This is a long ass video, though, for real, man. But but during this time, man, during this time, there's no cops, no cops. Are you gonna call and have the police not come now? Are you going to call and have the police not come now? That's what I'm doing right now. All you have to do is tell me where you're going. I don't have to understand. I don't have to tell you anything. Yeah, this is David Stewart. I just called the police So now he's call- You can apologize too. So now I guess he's calling the police to tell the police. I, I guess I guess finally throughout this whole confrontation uh, throughout the whole dur- duration, somebody must have called him up and said, "Hey, you know that's you know that's my delivery guy or whatever, whatever." And, y- and you know what? I know what you guys gonna say. I know what you guys gonna say. You guys gonna be like, you guys gonna be like, "Yo, why didn't he just say who he was delivering to?" And uh, and all that could have been avoided. I got you. I feel you. I'm I'm on that side of the fence. See, I'm I'm on top of the fence looking at both sides of the situation i can see where the driver is coming from it's none of the dude's business to know who the fuck i'm delivering to or who i'm going to see or whatever then i can see on the other side of the white guy like yo you know i'm just maybe instead of you know i i think all in all, I just think he was just being a nosy neighbor. But, you know, he was just being a concerned citizen. 
You know, he just want to make sure he just see two black guys in a semi truck coming up in my neighborhood. Maybe they're maybe they're casing a house or or maybe they're just stealing, you know, stealing something. But as but as Travis said, you need a gate key to get in. Somebody had to give him a gate key. Now, the other dude going to turn around and say, hey, uh, did you make a wrong turn? Dude, how am I going to make a wrong turn in the gated community? Y'all can see the rest of the video. Uh, like I said, it is a it is a long video. It's 30 minutes. Um, it's 30 minutes. And I, I have reached out to Travis. So, I, you know, right now, you know, he got some family situations that he's taking care of. But uh, it will be my pleasure to talk to this man and, uh, you know, get his experience on, you know, get his experience while he was there and all like that. Um, but, you know, from the video, you know, from the video, like I said, I could see both sides of the story. You see what I'm saying? You know, you got a quote unquote concerned citizen, the homeowners of the pre the president of the homeowners association for that little cul-de-sac. But in reality, he unlawfully detained this young man for no reason. No reason. And again, if you notice in the video, no, where was the cops? Where was the cops? Did he call the cops? Should Travis call the cops? There's a, <laughs> there's a lot and lots and lots going on in this situation, y'all. There's a lot going on in this situation. So stay tuned for the podcast. Uh, because like I said, I did reach out to the gentleman and I can't wait to talk to him. So I will be getting that up there to you guys shortly. Um, if you guys like content like this and more, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, share, and hit that bell for more content like this. My videos, uh, what YouTube has did has has done now was give me an idea on when my audience is watching or when my audience is on. So I will be posting more to that time of when they're coming on and all like that. So you know, new videos used to pop up like sporadically throughout the day or whatever or a certain day but now i'm actually going to give you guys an actual roundabout time so anytime after 3 p.m monday through friday you should inspect uh you should inspect the video with the exception of the live feeds all right uh or the pre periodic live feeds now to chop up uh, the chop up between me, uh, between me and special guests is going to pretty much be on Sundays. Uh, I will try to give you guys uh, like a, 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 a an advance an advance notice of when the when the feed is going live, so to get you guys to come on over and hang out with me and all like that. I do appreciate all my subscribers, all six thousand of you guys. Please, I am trying to grow the community. I am trying to grow the channel, and like I said, by the end of this year, I'm trying to see if I can see ten thousand before the year is out. So, with you guys help, I hope you guys can get me there. Uh, I want to continue to bring the kind of content content that you guys like it's not about me as it, it's about you guys so you know let me know in the comments below let me know in the community page what you guys want to see because i'm rocking for you you see what i'm saying um if if it's something that i can get or get for you i want to do it if you have any articles that you think that might be an interest interest to me to get out to to uh to share for other people Get at me, and I will get it for you. I appreciate your time. I appreciate everything that you guys do. This is Lockout Men. I am Lockout Men. How you like the haircut? How you like the haircut? And on that note, I am, I am, I am out of here. Y'all take it easy, and I'll come at you with another video. Peace.